All right, solve this equation. So I'm going to change this one again into logarithmic form. So this now is going to be the log. It's a base e of 8 because that's the answer to the exponential and this will equal 2x. Well, since I have a log base e, I'm going to change this into a natural log. So now this becomes the natural log of 8 equals my 2x. And to solve this one, I can just divide both sides by 2. And I get x equals, if I wanted an exact answer, this would be fine for now. If I wanted to solve it, though, then I can just put that into my calculator. Natural log of 8 divided by 2. Well, I guess they didn't want it, uh, an approximation for this. So at this point, I'm okay leaving, leaving it like this. But I'm going to show you guys the rule for this kind of stuff is if we have log base b of, I don't know, we'll say x, y, then this equals, or it's the same as y times log base b of x. Now the only reason I show you this is because 8 is 2 to some power. So this ends up being the natural log of 2. If we wanted that to be 8, it would be 2 cubed all over 2, right? And looking at the rule right here, this is the power rule for logarithms. Well, I'm going to take this exponent, put it in front, and multiply it. So that gives me 3 times the natural log of 2. My base stays and I'm going to divide this by 2. Be careful because these twos, these twos don't cancel out. One is in the log, one is not. So we can't just cancel those out. And this technically would be considered the exact answer for this. Simplified. Uh, if we wanted the decimal, I got 1.0397. But it didn't really ask for that. So.